Here is a test problem from break-even point. You should know break-even point is a point where profit is zero or revenue is equal to cost. The question here is, the revenue function for a new product is r of x equals to minus 5x squared plus 39x, where x is number sold in thousands. The cost function is c of x equals to 4x plus 30. How many items must be sold for the company to break even? That's part A of the problem. And the part B is what quantity of items sold will produce the maximum profit? Right? Now, when we say break even, then break even is when profit is zero. Now, what is profit? Profit is revenue minus cost. Right? So, profit, which is P of X, is equal to revenue function minus cost function. So in this case, revenue is given to us is minus 5x square plus 39x and the prof and the cost is 4x plus 30. So let's take away 4x plus 30. Then we get our profit. And now for break even, all this should be equal to zero. So that becomes our equation. So what we need to do is just simplify this and get the answer. So we have minus 5x square plus 39x minus 4x minus 30 equals to 0. Now that we can combine these terms. We have 5x square 39 minus 4 is 35x minus 30 equals to 0. Now we can take 5 common from here, so it's just minus 5 and we get x squared. When you take minus then the signs will change. So we, this becomes minus 7x and that will be plus 6 equals to 0. Now this can be factored, we can write this as x, now how will you get 7? You can get it by minus 6 times minus 1, right? So it is minus 6 times minus 1. So that is how you can factor this. Once you have factored, then you can always find the answer. So the answer for us here is, at x equals to 6 and x equals to 1, profit will be 0, right? Profit function will be 0. Now, so that means we get two answers, that is x equals to 6 and x equals to 1. Now, if you read the question properly, it says where x is number sold in thousands, right? Therefore, in your answer, you should write that the number of items sold are, so we write on our answer here as number of items are either 6,000 or 1,000, right? At both points, you get a break-even point, right? That is what uh, the answer is. Now, part two of the question is, what quantity of items sold will produce maximum profit? Now, maximum profit is, this is a profit function. So, let's write down the profit function once again. We have profit function equals to minus 5 x minus 6 times x minus 1, right? So, that is the profit function. Now, to find the maximum, it should be axis of symmetry, which is right in the center, mean value of 6 and 1, right? So we'll get maximum profit at x equals to 6 plus 1 divided by 2. That is 7 divided by 2, that is 3.5, right? So what quantity of items sold will produce maximum profit? So number of items sold should be how much? Should be 3.5 thousand, right? Times thousand. Do you see that? And therefore, we can write this as 3,500 items to be sold. So that is the answer for this question. I hope you understand how to do this question. It's a very simple question. The only thing is, don't forget about the units, right? So I've seen sometimes students will just write x equals to 6 and 1 and end the question. You have to write very clearly your answer and thousands is the unit. Thank you and all the best.